everybody welcome back to the cabin and welcome to the workshop if you've been following along the other channel you know, you'll have seen me start this workshop a couple of times and this uh, particular piece of it um, recently I'll have to explain in a future video why I'm doing what I'm doing with that especially the size uh, a lot of questions about the uh, small size of it and uh, there will be questions on this week's video about this platform that this is sitting on and the camera is sitting on so I'll explain that um, coming up or I'll just go ahead and do it and you'll see why I'm doing it. Um, anyway, this is the wood stove that I found for, uh, used on Kijiji and it was a sort of a struggle to find something cheap enough first of all because I am trying to do everything on the cheap and reuse as much as possible. Um, but finding something small enough for this little corner of the workshop has been a challenge. So this is exactly what I was looking for. It's uh, maybe 16 inches in diameter and uh, about 30 inches high, 36 inches high. Now that is perfect to go right into the corner and that'll easily provide enough heat, especially if you see the uh, dimensional timbers there. They're six by eights and they're going to, once they heat up, they're going to hold a lot of heat and they'll slowly release that. So I don't really need a ton of heat in there. Nice to be able to burn scraps too, though. So, Probably burn very little actual cut firewood. Most of it will be just branches, stuff falling off the trees, and cutoffs from all the woodworking projects they're going to be doing in there or out here. So, as you can ex would expect, by with a hundred dollar stove, it does need a little bit of work. It's pretty thin sheet metal that's really just holding all these fire brick, these fire bricks in place, and uh, this part here. These parts here are cast, so they're heavier. But anyway, like I said, it'll function perfectly for, for what I'm looking for, for what I'm intending to do with it. here. This will be my first project of ash pan to go in the bottom. It's completely rusted through, burnt through. So I've got lots of uh, scrap sheet metal lying around, old uh, fuel cans for the what were they? Oh, the chainsaw fuel. So I'll use those and make up a couple of pans. But anyway, this is what I've been doing on these projects right from the beginning: is scrounging material as much as possible. So the next couple of projects are going to be using only wood from my own land. Um, 
I have that mill now, so I'm going to put that to good use. And there's a lot of different uh, structural timbers that I need and um, cladding and stuff like that, like flooring and, and deck boards and, and uh, siding and things like that. So And shingles, actually. I'm going to be making all the wood shingles. So I have to get started on that. So that's what this workshop is going to be used for, for first. My first project, obviously, is going to be getting this thing refurbished, painted, and, and fixed up a little bit get it installed get a door on the workshop and then hopefully i'll uh, beat winter beat the really cold weather i can start doing some of the stuff for those next projects inside this cabin or inside this workshop and on this platform deck right here and just outside a lot of stuff that's just too big to work do inside any workshop at least any uh hand tool workshop that i'm interested in i don't want a big uh, typical uh, power equipment workshop where you can yeah, do big things inside um, just too resource intensive to build something like that and I just don't need it I think it would be just a waste of materials and time for me so that's a basic explanation for what you're seeing behind me but you'll understand more about why I did it when you see what I am doing out here next anyway uh, I just wanted to share that with you I'd mentioned in another video that I was going to pick this thing up um, about an hour from the cabin and a uh, nice day for a drive so it was actually uh, worth uh, that alone just going for a drive to pick it up and it was cheap so it was worth uh, worthwhile anyway not much of a video but uh, people were asking so that's what i was doing that day so thanks for watching appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time take care